Greetings Commanders, this is Buckrabbit. Welcome to another episode of Elite Chronicles. With me, in my new Cobra. Today, we're going to do some work on combat. So, first off we need to do is change the outfitting on this Cobra to something that is a little bit more aggressive. So we've got two rather small pulse lasers here. We're going to keep those, but we're going to transfer them into these two small hard points. So to do that, you just click on the weapon, go down to transfer options, and swap. And then we just pick one of the locations. And wait. Just a second. Okay, that's one. And let's move this other one. Swap to the other small hard point. Now these are fixed weapons, so we're going to go with a couple of larger twos for these spots. But we're going to stick with the fixed pulse lasers. There are many. There's a the beam laser, which is actually my preferred choice. Burst lasers, which are somewhere in between beam and pulse. And pulse lasers. We're going to go for some 2E pulse lasers. We'll just buy those. Buy that one. See, it's a little bit bigger. And these are fixed, so all they do is sit forward. The other option is gimbaled. Unfortunately, they don't have any gimbaled stock here in the protected systems. So what we're going to do, we're going to stick with that. And um, the other thing we're going to do is go to the optional internals. And we're going to pick up some limpets, hopefully. Ah, no limpets. Okay, no limpets for you. But we will pick up a hull reinforcement. We've got 2E or 1B. And the 2E is actually better. It's going to cost us 12,000 credits. But trust me, this is going to help. And we've got two empty slots here, so we can fill those up with hull reinforcements. Don't need any other stuff right now. We're not going any further than we need to. Got a couple of shield cargo racks there, and we got 4E shield generator, which is what it actually comes with. But I don't believe we can get anything better. And we got 3E <coughs> or 4E. Excuse me. So now we're going to go back to the mission board and see if we can pick up a fighting mission and we don't we got a pirate here for 25,000 so we will have a go at him what level are you harmless yep certainly within our range we're going to accept that now the other thing we're going to do because we've created more weapons is we're going to adjust our weapon groups so we go here to our fire groups as you can see, we've now got pulse lasers on button one and pulse lasers on nothing. So we're just going to put them all on the same button. Usually you want to have some sort of auxiliary, like a chaff launcher. So hmm, maybe we should look at that. So back into starport services, back into outfitting, and we go to utility mounts. Now what we're after here it's chaff which is a really good thing it's just lots of little pieces of foil that gets chucked out of the ship and it covers your escape and we're going to have two of those because our power does can actually deal with it ordinarily we wouldn't bother with these but we are going to here and again we need to set a fire group so it's back into here, into the fire groups, panel four, into the fire groups for chaff launchers, and we're going to put them both on two. Now we're going to go and do our mission. So we go to one, transactions, take down pirate, open the galley map, galaxy map. Oh, you're going to a new system. Well, that's lovely. It's 12 light years away, which is fine. So we set the course. 
And now we're going to auto launch out of there. I have done some missions in between this episode and the last episode. Just earning more money, getting some more money, especially the rebuy cross, because you should never fly without rebuy. Type 9 and looks like an ASP scout. Just waiting in the queue to leave. It's all on auto launches you again. We might as well use them while we've got them. And as a new pilot, you'll really appreciate these new pieces of kit. Oh, it was an app scout. Let's give him a little scan. We're not getting anything out of you, are we? Okay, so our first jump is to Ranty. And we can abort the auto launch once we're out the door. Oh, mind we don't ram into anyone. Because you will get fined. You've got to be really careful. Oh, it's behind us. Okay. Now, ordinarily, mass lock would last a lot longer. I can only assume that Colo Station isn't actually that massive. That we can start our jump. Even when we're not pointing at the target. And we're going to a brown dwarf star. So just as it comes into charging, we nose up, and off we go. Off to Ranty. Now hopefully this guy will be a little bit silly and uh, interdict us, which is always fun. Alright, we need to avoid that star, because that's a bad star. It's a T-type star that goes into our codex. I can show you our codex when we get to where we're going. And we'll just jump again. This is our target destination. We will do a little scan. D-scans should become second nature to you, so just jump around. Because the data you can sell. Once you're far enough away, which is usually twi 20 light years, then you can sell that data. You get money. It's all about the money at the beginning. Okay, we've got a mission critical message. And that will be up in our comms. So it's panel 2. Over to this one. Scan complete, your target's no notification has been uploaded to your ship systems now. So what that means is it'll be in number four. So he's in orbit of Sharor A3A, and we target the unidentified mission signal source. I'm gonna use the Super Cruise Assist. Let's use it while we've got it. And on the way, we're going to be scanning other ships. And the reason we're doing this is to collect data. Oh, it's him. Unfortunately, I don't have an interdictor. Otherwise, I would grab it. But I can't. And it looks like he's accelerating away from us anyway. Which is a bit of a pain. But we'll definitely get him on the mission threat one. Well, you're wanted as well. Not going to get anything out of you, though. See if we can get something out of this Challenger. Yep, unexpected mission data. Nice. See if we can get anything out of his buddy here. Didn't get anything out of them, but at least we know who they are. Oh, this Anaconda would be nice. If we can get a, we can get a scan on that. No, no scan. Oh, we've lost lock. On we go. We're back on it. We're good. There's a good chance I might overshoot here. 
Well, you can break lock. Sometimes you can't get back on. Hopefully it should drop us out straight away. It's one good thing about Super Cruise Assist. Well, it's a couple of good things about Super Cruise Assist. One, you can point it at something very far away and go and make a cup of tea. Or coffee, whatever your preference. And the other thing is, if you overdo it, or overcook it, sometimes it'll actually drop you out where you need to be. So this is a mission target, and this is a mission for money, or bounty, so there's a bit of bounty hunter thing happening here. So this is your man, this is my target I think, we need to identify him, obviously. Don't start shooting until you've identified the guy. He's definitely our target, might want pips to weapons, and we want to deploy the weapons. Some people have their weapons deployed on pressing the trigger. I'm not carrying anything nice except your death. Alright, because I got fixed. I'm going to have a go at him. We're slightly heavier than he is, and he's in a sidewinder. So we're going to turn into him. Now these will actually recharge at alternate rates. Let's get behind him. Get right up behind him. We should be faster. Not the overshot. Still got his shields up. I'm going to thrust down so we can get a better thing, better angle on him. really need to keep within the blue and we don't have enough boost oh it's gonna run it's gonna run unless we get hold of him come back here you little bugger and he's dead bye all right all these little white bits we want. Unfortunately, we don't have a collect Olympic controller, so we're going to have to scoop them up manually. Which is what you've done in. You should have done in the tutorials. We've discovered a new material. And it'll be compact composites, which is nice because that's quite rare. Worn shield emitters. This is one of the more common ones. Later on, what we'll do is we'll get a Collect Olympic controller, and then the Collect Olympic will do it all for us. Olympics are just little programmable robots that go out and get stuff for you, so you don't have to do this. The whole idea with this is we need more money so we can upgrade our ship. That's what we're after. We want ship upgrades. And these little pieces will come in handy when we enter the world of engineering. These don't actually take any cargo space, so you're good. Right now we've got to go back and collect our bounty. So we'll go back to the galaxy map. And you can see that Matet has the mission. So we need to go back there to collect the bounty. We need to put our weapons away. And we'll switch back to analysis mode. And switch back to the D scanner mode. The D scanner fire group. And then off we go. be a two jump as well. Yeah, two jumps back to Matet. Is it 
destroy them. We'll see when we get back to this place. We're just going to make sure that we go to the right place here. I'll avoid you, because you're nasty. Yeah, that's it. You can tell by the blue bar. There is nothing else but that sun in this particular system. Yeah, orbital plane established, one body. Off we go again. To the station where we got the mission from. And you super cruise assist again. Not sure if I'm explaining that very particularly well, but the way to invoke super cruise assist is you highlight where you want to go and activate it by pressing that button. Obviously, you don't want to deactivate it once you've activated it. And again, we scan ships along the way. There's a good chance we'll get a couple of scans. Maybe not. But they're free. You don't have to pay for them. Nobody gets particularly upset if you do it. But the way of doing that is just to cycle with your next target button rather than actually changing the target of where you want to go. Are these unidentified signal sources? Sometimes they are things that you want, like scans and pieces of machinery and manufactured goods that you may or may not want. And sometimes you want to check those out. All you do is just identify them, lock on like you would with any sort of station, and go and have a look. There's another ship. What are you? You're a Type 7. Hello there. You're clean. Drift on the Cobra. Go around to the front. You don't necessarily have to do this, but you know, sometimes it's quicker. Request docking. And let the auto dock take care of the rest. So, Doc, how I love thee. And we're home again. So, 
So straight into station services. Fix any issues we have. Refuel. I'm mean, going to show you advanced maintenance. Now your ship integrity will actually reduce over time. So you got to make sure you keep that up. And the paintwork, of course. You've got to keep the paintwork nice and intact. Right, so we go back to the mission board. And take down the pirate. Click on complete mission. And take the money. Right, it's another 25,000. So now my balance is 269,000 credits. And that's been d racked up pretty quick. Just by doing delivery missions and um, the odd kill mission. There's another guy there. Nubstake. We'll I'll probably take him at some point. But I hope that explains how to do a quick bounty hunting mission. And uh, I hope to see you in the next episode of Buck Rabbit's Elite Chronicles. Thanks for watching.